Hey, what's up traders? Going three for three today. Um, could have been a really nice day. Um, ended up still being a, a good day, but it could have been a really nice day. Um, and we'll get into that. So let's jump right into it. And as we always do, Billy was our first trade. And I believe we started Momo while we were in this as well. Um, before I zoom in, well, too late. Uh, zoom back out. Previous high down here, 2491, 25 area. You can see it kind of hit twice. Uh, yesterday's high as well as uh, the, the gap up here uh, in the pre-market. And we made a nice move through that area. Um, this line was just, I was marking the high in case I wanted to move up higher here, but nice move, um, up through 25, uh, up through 2550, but we actually started this one a little bit early, 2535. We had an order out at 2510, uh, for this 2535 entry. And unfortunately, as you can see, it jumped down to 13 and didn't fill us. And as you can see, it, the candle finished up near the highs. Uh, so I was a little frustrated because it missed us by three cents and then went all the way back up. So, um, I let it actually make this move up to 63. I was looking to get an add up in the seventies. Um, as it was coming back down, I added another hundred shares thinking that my size wasn't that big. Uh, so hit it for another hundred shares to give us 200 uh, shares total, which put us right around the same average. I think it was like 38 or 39. Um, and then I tried to go back to the highs. And at this point I said, um, if it wants to go back to the highs, I'm just going to cut it. Uh, so I'm just going to add a little bit more here, bring our average up a little bit. And if we do get the drop, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get paid for it. So it does give us a drop, take some off, take some more off. And I was trying to keep uh, some leftovers looking for that 25 or, or previous days high retest. Um, you can see it even tested it here at the bell uh, pretty quickly as well. Um, really felt like it was going to retest that area. Uh, so I kept a little bit, didn't get it, ended up taking a little bit of a loss on these. Um, but it was le complete leftovers. I had 300 shares. There's only 25 of them. And uh, as you can see, it did go to high a day. I had put that line there, seeing if it wanted to extend up through 26, and I would have been looking to get back in. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, and uh, it ended up making its way back down after a long time. And it did retest that area. And as you can see, after that, it decided to go back to the highs. So I always stand by, you know, you never know what's going to happen after it makes that initial pullback. And in this case, it did all kind of crazy things. It tried to go higher twice. Make, came down, finally gave us that retest of previous resistance, and then it went back to the highs again. So um, is what it is. Momo, this is the one where it could have been a big one. <clears throat> um, we started this one way early, uh, really bad first entry, a uh, little bit of a FOMO uh, entry, I feel, but previous resistance 72 or 722, sorry. And um, you can see, look at the candles. Uh, there was nothing fast about this move. Should have never been in this first entry. Um, and to be completely honest, <clears throat> It came up to here, 784, tried to pull back. I should have cut it there. Um, when it went back up and broke that area, I should have just cut it. It wasn't the trade I was looking for. Um, I was expecting a 750 retest, and I was just trying to make like a quick little scalp. But instead, I ended up getting caught in the real move. Um, now, if these were both my uh, first two entries and we didn't have to deal with this one, that would have been awesome. Um, but what I ended up doing is I took such small size on this one because I knew what I was doing. Um, I knew I was kind of FOMOing into it. I was just looking for a quick little buck uh, on the retest of 750, didn't get it. But I knew that if it went against me, it wasn't going to be that big of a deal. So what you're going to see is we actually ended up adding 200 shares instead of just 100 here. So it was 100, a 200, and then 300 up here. So 100 shares here versus 500 shares up here, it brought our average up to, I think it was 813. Um, so we end, actually ended up with a pretty decent average here. Uh, let's see if I can drag it. So first entry was down here, but as you can see, uh, we got our average up here with these two ads. Um, and it was nice. Uh, it actually made a pretty nice move. It came right back down after we hit it that second time and uh, ended up working out. However, we had 500 of these 600 shares that we had at 805. And it came down to like 809, 808 and couldn't give us that fill. And that would have been almost, it would have made it a $50 trade instead of a $28 trade. Um, but unfortunately it didn't happen. And uh, yeah, so I was a little sad about that and could have been a little bit better of a day. Could have been the hundred dollar day, but you know, I'm not going to complain. As you can see, got out of it, tried to go a little bit lower. And then ultimately uh, this thing went up and kind of stayed up there. So that's why I like to be in and out. It keeps me safe um, because if you started this thing down here, bought it here, didn't get the kind of fills that I did, um, and then you kept fighting this, this thing has not pulled back. So um, that this one could be uh, hurting some people out there if they're uh, still messing with it. And our last trade was on Carvana. Um, this one was pretty nice. Uh, previous resistance, 525. It actually went uh, into a halt under that, came out, went into another halt. And at this point, I was kind of watching it just seeing if it ever wanted to slow down uh, out of the halt. And you can see that for two minutes out of this halt, 
Uh, I don't know, it might not have been two minutes because it unhalted and it might have just been near the end of a candle. But it, it started to slow down. Um, and when it went up to, this actually went to the haul price, it was $5.95. Um, I, I was going to front run it. And that's actually what I ended up doing. But it was on SSR, so I had to hit it on the way down. And we ended up getting filled there. But um, I was a little curious because it was at the halt price again, but it wasn't moving very fast. So I felt like it wasn't going to halt again. It did try, um, but it didn't get there. And so I ended up getting short. It came right down. Um, thought about taking uh, like a partial, but I was like, I'll just take my quick 20 cents. It was 19 cents and uh and move on i was pretty happy with this one and i didn't want to get caught in something that did end up halting after a decent pullback and then we get stuck and it gaps up you know et cetera, et cetera. so that's all i got um decent day don't forget to like and subscribe appreciate the support if you do have any questions or comments uh concerns like this stuff you can leave them down below or you can find me in discord or twitter those links are in the description have a good weekend and i'll see you guys monday morning peace